I, I hear what you're saying, and I, love, and I honor what you're saying, because these coppers in Tamworth took my daughter because she was going through hard times. My daughter, she died from Weevil to Tamworth. And the coppers, I, can't, I can't even wrap my head around that. My, the coppers took her without giving, taking in on consent that she needed emergency assistance, even though she was going to Tamworth. And they took custody of her rights <coughs> as a black woman. I, 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 I wouldn't now, she, That's sure. she was given life. I thank God for giving my daughter back. And I run the police in Tamworth, from Leonora in Western Australia, to let them know who I was. That's my daughter. That is my daughter. She, she's a Rachel. Do you know they don't understand the significance of that? They I have no know. idea what you're saying to them. Yeah, I know that. They have no idea. Now, but I'll stand for not even my family, for anyone else. I've had a son got bashed three three months ago in Burke Jail. And they said that was his problem. His problem. Now this is a young generation, our next generation of our young ones. Yeah. It's when are we gonna start standing up for these problems? So yeah. you had a young girl here talking about how she she went and saying something about law, putting something up there, but didn't know how to present it. This is a younger generation that needs needs of his school and tutored in this thing, what you're saying. If I didn't know that Tamworth police know that that was my daughter, they could have took her life and left her. I would have been putting my daughter in the cemetery. Mm. And only for that, I know I have to learn my way about law. Yeah. Now, you know, One of my doctoral students has just written a paper about this, and he's proven that what they're doing in Australia is, he's proven conclusively that it's a major international crime against humanity of the same proportions as Nazi Germany. Yeah. Customary law, you're not only breaching civil uh, human rights law, you're breaching civil rights. Yes, yeah, that's right. Our civil rights. Yeah. Well, it's an internet. And this is what they are intending to do is they basically want to legislate it and with recognised. Actually, I'll, I'll just quickly show you this little graphic towards the end because. This is the sort of stuff that's going to happen and become more predominant if we do not step up and stop this. With recognised, once they get these laws and they hijack the land law and our people with these legislations, hopefully this graphic shows itself. The Crown is R, it's for recognise. And so what they will do is recognise is binding in, in international law, recognisance is binding and it can never be undone, ever. So they will wind these changes. So it's not like they can go back in a couple of years time with a better government and go, oh, that's a bit nasty, we might fix it. They can't fix it. This is binding forever, it's a lockdown. And R uh, actually means, um, it's the Crown. So you, you see court cases where the Crown versus a person will be R uh, versus that person. And so R uh, is for Rex, for the male, whether it be King and um, R for Regina, and if you have a look, you see that like that little red kind of stamp thing. That's the R. They stamp it and seal it. And so, when it's got the circle around it, it means it's a trademark registered with the U.S. Patent and Trade and um, Trademark Office. And that's what they've offered us. They want to register us with the trademark office and wear their property. And so that's what I just want to conclude with. And so this is why we need to rise up very swiftly. We've got six months to stop this under, um, because when they, they want this, they have written about this since 1977. This is what they want and they will find a way to get it unless we are smart to stop this and we must stop this. But um, before we do any questions and answers, um, Serene's got some really important information to expand upon. I've got to set up so if you want to do it. Okay. 
Serene's just got to set up, so there is time for any questions. Just one question on the, on the last um, slide there. Yeah. Um, I, where, you said, where you mentioned that um, we're registered and we stand with the, with the um, seal of approval from the, the stock exchange in America, basically. Yeah. Does that, does that mean that we are, we are actually, Australia is actually listed as a, as a member of that yeah, Australia is actually registered already with them since 2009 as a corporation. Yeah, so, so basically we Australia isn't a registered country, it's actually registered as a, a corporation. As a corporation of yeah. the American stock exchange, yeah. so, which, which is ratified yeah. by, by the several... Um, we're being recognised as property, not as humans. Yeah. You can't have human rights and be recognised without rights because there's... As, as it was with that um, court case that undid the 67 referendum, there's no presumption. They had a presumption they could make laws for us. So you can't presume you're going to get rights. It has to be written in and stipulated and clearly given. If it's not written in, it's not going to be given. You can't ever be presumed you'll get it. So basically, without being recognised with human rights, without being recognised with cultural rights to our land and our sovereignty rights, um, it won't be granted, it will just be their property that they have the rights to make laws for. No, I just want to add one more thing on this. Um, Dennis Walkie talked about yesterday about birth certificates. Yeah? Now, it's very important, there's a, there's a white fellow called Romley Stewart, I think his name is, up in Cairns. Yeah, he's, up, he's in Cairns. Now, this fellow has um, went into court <coughs> And they, when they asked him what he's, uh, that if he was the right person, um, he, he actually said, no, I'm not that person because that's not my birthday. And so he produced two certificates. One is his actual birth date when he was born in the hospital, but then the day he was registered and given his number, that's a different date, about a week after he was born. And so he went in and he said, which person am I? Am I this person or am I that person? With two different birth dates. And then the court and the police told him, don't ever come back with any of those documents into this court or we'll put you straight in jail. Yeah? And so he's saying, um, and so what he's established is that that number on the birth certificate is the number that they use in the stock exchange to register the population of Australia because you are worth quite a few dollars with that birth certificate number. And they're using that to raise money on your name, on your birth certificate. So it's, there's, like, what you're looking at now is a really big problem that we as Aboriginal people have got to, be con to, to confront. We have to deal with this and we have to unfortunately unwind it all, decodify it, so that we understand where we stand. Right now, as you're starting to see in these presentations, is that we, we, we're, they're trying to trick us into a position where we get no more rights and we're going to lose out big time. So um, I'll, I'll leave this. We're, we're getting very short on time.